Howdy there, team. If you've ever thought, man, I wish I could just use something like ChatGPT, uh, answer questions for me related to my data. I want to show you something that there's this video. I only had to watch it about five minutes before I knew exactly what I needed to do and started actually doing it. This tool is called Notable. And all you have to do in Notable is create an account and upload a file. I'm telling you folks, it's that easy. You log in to Notable. You have something called like my first project or whatever, and then you click upload and then you end up with a CSV file sitting here. So you can do this with any data set. All right. Then you have to go to chat GPT, you go to GPT four and you go to the plugins and you select notable. If you don't have notable, you have to go to the plugin store and add notable. Once you've uploaded a file to notable, let me show you what it'll look like. Now, mind you, I didn't do anything in notable, but upload a file. I did not edit the file. I did not have to come in here and do anything upload file, click, upload file, done. That was it. So I don't know anything about this stuff. This isn't anything advanced. In this video, they teach you how to load in the data, which you have to basically take the URL from here, all that part, and you put it in here. You put your CSV in and then you put your project in. And it says, hey, here's what it is and here's what you need to do. So I did it, so it told me what I had to do and it didn't work. And it's great, I see that you've got this file. So then it says, hey, I've loaded this file in. Now, just so you know, the file, the CSV that I uploaded, it is an image script that we ran that took all the different keywords and all the different images that were triggered and got me all the different features of those images. So I'm just playing around with any random CSV, okay? It brings it all in. It goes, what do you want to do with the data? And I'm like, before we go doing stuff, let me make sure you understand all the columns. And I natural language speak into it or tell it how I would describe those columns. Notice I did say, do you have any clarifying questions? I don't want you guessing. If you're not sure, ask me. And I said, nope, I'm good. So then I said, I'm an analyst trying to figure out what features are in images so I can make better landing pages. Okay. And it's, oh, all right. Here's the top 10 most common features around images associated with keywords that contain colors. So literally folks, I said, my first ask is what are the features we see most in keywords with colors in them? Okay. And I got all these words and a lot of them don't have colors, but some do. Right. So who wants to go through all these words looking for colors? And I want to, and then I got to look at the features and I got to filter over here. And what am I going to filter by blue, black, gray, but what about words like magenta? What about gray, G R E Y and A Y in it so much easier. If I can just tell ChatGPT colors, I don't have to put any filters in. I can just say colors and it gives it to me. So then I was like, all right, what are the top 10 images with the highest confidence scores for keywords that sound like pool shapes? So again, now I don't have to know all the different pool shapes. Now, of course, I'm just playing around with this, right? But what I'm trying to do is show you all how you literally with ACS, if you watch this video up to five minutes, go to Notable and create an account for free, go to ChatGPT and enable ChatGPT4 plugins, then you can do all these kinds of things. And what's really crazy, folks, is let me show you what I did at the bottom. I said, can you graph that for me in a basic bar chart with orange bars and a black background? Done, right? already built, copy the image, go and put it in my analysis. Notice folks, nothing here was Python or you got to really know the program. You got to just know what's in your head. Watch this video for the first five minutes, set up a notable account, upload a CSV. If you make mistakes and even in the upload, like I did, it actually will tell you, oh, you don't have the thing right. So what you need to do is you need to put the file here so then we can analyze it. Once I did that, everything after that was natural language with the file. Have fun, play around. I think this is a freaking game changer. And I think this is the kind of thing that once you see it, you can't unsee it, which means you could potentially do your job for yourself and your coworkers a thousand times better because you decided to spend the 10 or 20 minutes to start to bring these files in and figure out the right way to manage it. Please don't put any client, client data in there yet because I'm not sure about that stuff, but anything that's publicly available or anything that's in a CSV you wanna make up, go for it and learn to play.